Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the color palette conversion tool. In, Ex in Excel 2007 Microsoft introduced a new color palette uh, which basically looks like uh, these colors here for the office theme and uh, previous versions Excel 2003 and earlier used this color palette here. So you'll notice if you create a new file in Excel 2007 um, when you open it back in 2003, uh, sometimes the colors can be drastically different than how you designed it in 2007. This is an example here where uh, with some sample tables that were uh, created in Excel 2007 on the left side. And then when you open this file in Excel 2003, you'll notice that the, the colors have changed a bit. Um, and, and sometimes it can be more dramatic than this, and it's, it's not always what you want the user to see, especially if you're sending your files to clients. So the color palette conversion tool uh, basically takes care of this problem um, by allowing you to change the previous version color palette, which is actually stored in an Excel 2007 workbook. Um, so if you go to the, the file menu and options, in the uh, in this this save option on the left here, if you click the the colors button, you'll see that the uh, here's these the old standard palette from Excel 2003 here, and you can actually go in and modify this palette to use the new colors. Uh, that way, when your user opens it in Excel 2003, they'll see the new colors that you've used in your workbook. Uh, however, modifying this is a bit tricky. Um, if you want to actually modify the colors, you have to n basically know the uh, RGB values of the new palette and type them in here one by one to modify this. So it can take, it can be very time consuming to just figure out what those RGB values are and then type them in here one by one in each of the uh, color tabs there. So the uh, color palette conversion tool um, basically takes care of this problem and I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, th again, this tool is available for free download at excelcampus.com. When you open the tool, make sure to enable the macros. That's the first and most important step because this, this tool does use macros. Also, there's a help button right here which will pop up some on-screen help to help guide you through this and this is exactly what we're going to go through today. So, and there's also um, a link to excelcampus.com with a detailed help page that will walk you through it as well. So basically the first step is, uh, well first of all I have another workbook open. Um, it's this sample report here. So we're going to use this uh, sample report as an example. Um, and this, this report was created in Excel 2007 and it uses the office theme colors in 2007. So the first step is we can actually pull in those colors that we've used in the sample report by um, selecting that workbook from this drop down. This is a list of the open workbooks on the computer. So I click that workbook and now in this box down here you'll mm -hmm. see that the uh, basically the colors that were used in that workbook have been searched and found and populated in this box. So we can see these, these, these shades of blue and also that red text we used in that workbook um, are, are now in this, this box here. And we can basically copy these colors that we want over to the previous version palette and then upload or update that previous version palette in our workbook. So that's, that's basically how this works. You can also, if you know the colors that you've used from the palette um, in, in your workbook, you can also just copy them straight from the, the palette down here into this previous version palette. So the easiest way to do that is, let's say we take this, this dark blue color here, and I'll use Control c to copy that cell. And then we need to replace one of the colors in the new version or I'm sorry, in the old version color palette. And to do that, we can just paste, let's say we want to replace this, this blue color here. So I'll just click Control V and that'll paste that color into um, over that old, old blue color. So now when the user opens the workbook in Excel 2003, 
when they look at their color palette, they will actually see this blue color in there instead of that that old other brighter blue color that we just replaced. And so, and, and this is up to your discretion too, which colors you want to replace. Uh, maybe you never use pink, or you never use a bright green in your workbook, so you could replace those colors if you know you won't need those. Um, but it's up to you. You don't necessarily have to replace a blue with a blue or a red with a red per se, but I think it makes it easier. So we'll take, um, then we also need to take this blue color and we'll paste it there. Um, we'll take the red and paste it over this red and maybe these lighter shades of blue over these, these colors here, something like that. So it's pretty quick. Uh, you'll notice that all of the colors have an index number so you can see which ones you've actually uh, copied over and, and which ones you haven't. Um, 71 and 73 are white and black. We don't need to copy those because those are already in the old version palette. And then, like I said, you could, if you know you want to use this orange color in the future, let's say you could, you could copy it into here um, and replace that orange or it basically any of the old, or I'm sorry, any of the new uh, colors in the new palette can be put in there. These action buttons down here uh, allow you to do, the, to. well this first one allows you to transfer colors uh, instead of copying and pasting you could put the number in, so let's say we wanted to um, put this this blue color up here that's number 67, so I could type number 67 in the box here and then click the transfer button and that will make this box um, blue, that blue 67. So that's another way instead of copy and paste. I find copy and paste to be faster. The restore default will allow us to restore the 2003 colors back into the um, previous version palette. So if I click that you'll see this changes back to the original uh, old style colors and then if I hit the transfer colors button that'll change it back to the colors we just copied in. So this is uh, similar to an undo feature where you can, if you want to go back and see what you've copied over, you can click restore and then um, transfer back and that'll redo those assignments based on the index number of the color that matches to these palettes over here. Clearing assignments will clear the numbers and then retrieving the palette will actually retrieve the stored palette that's in the workbook um, that would be in this Excel 2007 sample report workbook. So if you've already made changes to it and updated it, um, updated the previous version palette that is, you can then retrieve it back into this uh, and modify it again. So now that we have our new color palette um, that we want to use in Excel 2003, um, basically we're on step three here which is to update the previous version palette and we just need to go to that same workbook so we're gonna um, select that sample report and then uh, click this button here to update uh, the palette. So that that was very quick and that updated the palette. So now if we go back into the sample report or sample report here I'll show you how that's changed. I'm gonna go to the file options menu and again go to the save options and then click the colors button and you can now see it's it's subtle but you can now see that those colors are actually in um, this palette here so it, probably the easiest one to see is that bright blue color that we copied in there um, but basically those so when you open this workbook in Excel 2003 your colors will be in the color palette there which means that your workbook or your worksheet with those colors on it will look um, identical to how you laid it out and colored it in Excel 2007. So instead of seeing these colors here, you'll when you open it in 2003, you'll now see the colors on the left side. I hope you find this video useful, and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.